Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Last year, Microsoft introduced Windows 365 to its commercial customers. So that would be um, businesses, enterprises, and organizations that were subscribed to Windows 365, which also gave them access to a cloud PC, which I did post a couple of videos on last year, back in 2021. Now, yesterday, um, at the Harvard Work Event, um, on the 5th of April 2022, uh, Microsoft has announced some improvements to Windows 365, which they are calling new experiences, which they say will bring new options and bring the power of the cloud and the familiarity of the PC together, according to Microsoft. Now, what that basically means, in a nutshell, is that, that Microsoft is planning to introduce several new cloud-based features um, that are designed to integrate with the local Windows 11 desktop, as we can see in this screenshot taken from that announcement. So if you are a Windows 365 subscriber, you will then have access to your Windows 365 cloud PC, where you'll be able to access and inter interact with it from the Windows 11 desktop, as we can see in this screenshot. Now, basically there are some new features with this Windows 365 integration that Microsoft announced yesterday. And I'm just gonna go through some of the key uh, features um, and highlights from that announcement for you. First of all, there is Windows 365 Boot. And as the namesake says, it will let you boot into Windows, your Windows 365 Cloud PC on the startup of your device and your system. Um, so that means when you boot into your Cloud PC, that will work as your primary Windows um, on your actual local device. Now, the next uh, feature and integration will be Windows 365 offline. And once again, as that mentions, um, that will just basically bring offline access to Windows 365 when there is no connection to the internet. And when the internet is restored, your cloud PC then will automatically obviously resync uh, with the service. And then the next one is uh, Windows 365 switch, which makes um, moving between your cloud PC and your local desktop, um, as we can see in this uh, screenshot once again, using the Windows task switcher. So basically your cloud PC online and your local desktop, you can just switch between them um, using your task switcher in Windows 11. And then the last new integration and feature would be Windows 365 app. And what this does, as is uh, according to Microsoft, they say it will add a new option uh, to run the Windows 365 Cloud PC from the taskbar or the start menu on Windows devices. And the app will be pre-installed um, on future Windows 11 releases. And um, they also say the, um, if you are an IT administrator, you could also install it on Windows 10 devices manually. So it won't come pre-installed on Windows 10, only on Windows 11. You'll have to install it um, on a Windows 10 device um, manually. And then the app will give um, an, you another way to get straight to your Windows 365 Cloud PC from the taskbar or the start menu as well, because that'll be an actual app. So over and above the um, integration on the desktop using your task switcher, they're also thinking of bringing out an app that will um, just be like any other app where you can access your Cloud PC from that app right from your taskbar or your start menu. So that's just a couple of new updates and highlights regarding the Windows 365 Cloud PC. As I say, I did post a little bit on this last year and it was just interesting um, regarding um, these new developments. So I thought I'd just post this quick video just to let you know in case you were interested. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.